the Husqvarna or Husqvarna or Husky automower. So many questions. How will it do? What about dogs? What are my dogs gonna do? Well, I think we just got the answer there. What about long grass? Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw. And I just moved my Husqvarna automower out into the field behind my place. It is rough, the grass is long, and I'm gonna see how this thing performs over the next few days. And hopefully I can give you some assurance that this thing will handle some crazy stuff. Now, the automower is not for everybody, and the automower is not for every lawn. As a general rule, I'm gonna say, I want your lawn to be connected, meaning I don't have all little spots and places that I have to go to. As a general rule, I'm gonna say, I want it to be a lawn. I don't want it to be a field. But people are concerned about roughness. And this is a rough property. Now, long-term, this is probably not the right answer for this mower. But we're just gonna see how it holds up, how it does over a period of time, how it takes this field that's pretty nasty looking and cleans it up. So I just started it. Right now it's mowing at about an inch and three quarter or cutting the grass down. It's got a long ways to go. Started it at about a 4.30 on a Saturday afternoon. Kind of see how that does. So here's the questions that we get on automowers. What about branches? What about molehills? What about bumps, lumps? What about dogs? What about, you name it. And I, I don't blame you guys. It's, it's definitely worthwhile questions to ask. I was skeptical to myself. Like, will it actually work? Will this mow my lawn? And I'm here to tell you today to demyth some of those things and say, this is an amazing option for a lot of people. If you have a connected lawn, if it's fairly smooth, you will be impressed with what it'll do. It can handle hills. It can handle dips. It can handle bumps. Do you see how freaked out my dogs are by it? Nope. No problem at all. So now as I let this thing continue, I'm going to just kind of work my way around. I actually just started mowing this area. This is, this is field you can see by all the weeds that are there. Started mowing this area about two weeks ago, week and a half ago with the automower. And uh, it took it down and it's starting to look better. This area had some serious summer kill to it. And let's work around to the lawn. Right now my auto mower that mows my back lawn is set down to 20 millimeters. So that is under one inch. And get past the dead spots that I haven't fixed yet. I have seed coming in there. But this lawn is so nice, so short, so clean, and it just looks good all the time. Every day I come home and my lawn is cut, my grass is cut. I don't have to worry about tall grass and making it short. So over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna try to make a series of videos that debunks some of the myths about automowers, the fact that, how about molehills? So I'm hoping I can maybe get a mole on my property so that I can, you know, run over a molehill. And I'll throw a few branches out, but, but we'll just kind of look at the things that would make you question like, is this the right mower for me? And it'll answer some of those questions, which I fully respect and I fully expect people to ask, like, will this thing work? Hey, this is Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw, and I'm gonna tell you, for the last five plus years, I've had a robotic mower mowing my back lawn and it has changed my life. I love my zero turn mowers. I love my walk behind mowers, but the back lawn, I allow it to be cut by an auto mower. Maybe you should allow part of your property to be cut by an auto mower. All right, I look forward to working through this, to looking at what an auto mower will do for your property over the next few videos. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, 
learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.